Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Well, preparation for this, really, you couldn't have had any better. You've been out in camp with Usek. I'm assuming, obviously, you're not going to be sparring Povetkin anymore. I go to spar Povetkin November 1st, the day after the fight, all being well. Oh, you're going after the fight, yeah. All, all being well, yeah, I will, I will go the day after. Uh, I will go, I'll fly to Russia the day after the Hammer fight, all being well, obviously. Um, if Hammer sits on my backside, I won't be going nowhere. But uh, all being well, I'll go to Russia the day after, yeah. Well, um, obviously, we spoke at the start. I think you'd only had one session with Alexander Usek when I spoke to you out in Ukraine. Yeah. So as the sessions and, and the sparring went on, how did you find it? And, yeah, could you let us in on any more details about he, that? He's, he's exceptional. He's exceptional. He's, um, we sparred Monday, Wednesday, Friday the first week. It was all right. We sparred Monday and Friday the second week. Monday was all right. Didn't spar the Wednesday. Sparred the Friday the last day. Um, and first, second, third, and for two and a half minutes of the fourth round, I, I put my hands behind my back. I was giving it the Ali shuffle, hitting him, Ali shuffling again. And he was laughing and he was like, I was doing amazing. And to be honest, he came with a left hand and he steady, he proper steadied me. He gave me the old, he gave me the old chicken legs, uh, which would not happen to me. Uh, what was the shot? In around, in around 12 years, just an overhand left on the chin. And my legs went whoop. And we did a little dance. And he went, you all right? And I went, I'm a fucking all right. I said, of course I'm fucking all right. I said, what are you doing, man? I said, come here. I said, come on. But uh, so people were saying, can he punch? He can fucking punch, all right, yeah. Yeah, he steadied me up anyway. He steadied me up. Um, he's good. He's very good. He caught me with a left hand on the chin. And, and I went, whoa. I literally went, Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He can, he can put his speed though. You don't see him coming the speed. It's like, whoa. I literally went, Pfft. that was the phase I pulled. I watched it back on the thing, you'd see go, Pfft, like that. Then you see him go, fucking come here. <laughs> didn't so drop you, come here. Pardon? Didn't drop you. No, of course he didn't drop me. I thought totally fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, he steadied me up though. You know what I mean? It's, it Did he wobble you? Fine. Is that the right word? Did he wobble you? He, uh, he, he fucking got my attention, let's say. <laughs> he got my attention. He's, so, he's just very quick. Uh, I'm looking forward to Zizori fight because if Zizori hits him, he will out him, in my opinion. I mean, look at the shot he can yeah. you with. Oh, you, you see, can punch you, it's good, but the thing is, you see, gets you on the chin, and he does it fast and hard, and you don't see it coming. But that's the problem. I swear to Zizori. You see Zizori's punch coming, he's on the head, and it still fucking hurts. So, uh, I'm really intrigued by it. If you'd have asked me on the first week, I would have said Usyk can outbox him. Yes, on the second week, I would say Usyk is going to stop Zora mid to late rounds, or Zora is going to clean him out with one shot. And I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Usyk, though, is the most talented man I've ever seen. The man can juggle with four balls at one time. <laughs> and he can do kick ups with his thing. That's not even a ball. He's a. Uh, He's incredible and he's an absolute gent as well. Mm. Uh, and it was amazing. The, spa <coughs> the sparring was unbelievable. He uh, he made me so sharp. Made me so sharp. Really unbelievably sharp. It was, uh, I would say it's the best sparring I've ever had. I mm. felt myself learning. He kept hitting me with the same shot over and over again, straight left to the body, yeah? And I looked at him and I threw a straight right to his body and hit him with it. I looked at him and I thought, I fucking got that off you. I thought, I've literally, you've hit me with that for the last uh, three spars. I've just hit you back with it. And I thought, I've literally learnt it. I looked at him and he looked at me. We were like, looked at each other and just say, and I was looking at him and just say, cheers, mate. Yeah, <laughs> I've never done that before. And he looked at me and just say, yeah, that was a nice shot. And I thought, yeah, cheers, mate. Um, but it was great. The sparring was, was unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, best sparring you've had, and considering you've obviously sparred countless rounds with... Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, and then that's quite a statement to make. I think uh, I think Usyk is the best I've ever sparred, but I don't think he beats Fury. 
he's smaller than Tyson, so he can do things a little bit faster, a little bit cu- cleaner and cuter. Yeah. But I don't think he's big enough to beat Tyson. But I, f- I think I've given him a good chance of beating everybody else. Mm. Good bloke, come on. Proper good bloke. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.